Alrighty, so getting started on the RX-8 today. Um, I do believe that this is the uh, starting wiring harness. These two little guys, or I guess that one and that one, go do uh, connect to the starter. And then after that, um, I have the ECU connected, all the fuses. So really, it's just finding all the holes for the random little plugs. Um, but then once I get that done, we should be able to crank it over. So make sure that everything's hooked up for the most part and cool it lines intake and uh that she'll be uh ready to rock and roll. So let's get started on the uh starter. Alright, you got the starter fully connected. You can kind of see it down there. I have better lighting. But I got the starter fully connected. So now it's really just finding a place for all of these wires and then once I get most of the wires done I'm actually probably going to hook up the battery to a car just let it charge for a bit and then bada bing bada boom hopefully I can at least get it cranked today that would be awesome but let's start putting stuff back together which is going to be a nightmare all right all right so that needs to charge that so that way that can charge that battery because that truck's dead so Dead battery, dead battery, dead battery. The fuck? Dead battery's pretty much dead. I need to jump this one too. But. Oh, I think it's completely dead now. It's not even showing anything. So yeah, that needs to jump or more juice. Um, so right now, all I'm doing is going around, connecting all the grounds to wherever I think they need to go. Most of the coolant lines, don't know where that goes. Um. Yeah, I really just kind of fuck with most of the wiring until the battery's done. And even though nothing, not everything's all connected, we should at least be able to get her to crank and maybe even idle a little bit. We'll see. Um, yeah, one step at a time. Let's get some wiring figured out. Alrighty, so that was taking forever, so I said screw that. So now I'm just doing this straight to this, which very race car. And then over here on this butte, I've got this grounded right here. As you can tell, I freshly uh, ground away all the paint. <clears throat> and then the two battery terminals are right here. There's a loop there. So I'm just kind of following them back, making sure that everything along the way is connected. Um, down through the main harness, which looks like it goes straight to the starter back there. That's all good. Um, that goes to the alternator. Also plugs into the alternator. This, I have no idea where that goes. Um, got that plugged in there. Got the entire ECU plugged in. So I'm just kind of working my way back and just trying to figure everything out. That's the plan right now while that charges. Hopefully 10 minutes should give it enough juice to be able to at least get this thing to try and crank. That's the goal. All right, got the video, or got the battery connected. Got lights set on a buffer. Okay. Power seats work. Fire. All right. So now. Oh, fuck yeah. Still nothing. I don't know. It could be wiring, could be a whole lot of things. But everything turns on, so that's dope. All right, let's 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 get to it. All righty, so just looking to see where the two fuel lines went because I realized that they weren't connected. Um, the two that we have go on the bottom side of the intake, which is the very first thing we put on. So now we need to go undo like a week's worth of work to re-plug in the fuel lines. Fuck. <laughs> well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alrighty, so I realized that I don't have the fuel lines hooked up, which is kind of dumb on my part, but you know what? Live and learn. So I got the water pump pulley off so I could get the alternator mount and bracket off, and now I can get the alternator out. So now, fuck, I'm probably gonna have to take off the intake, aren't I? I was hoping I could just sneak back there and get it, but that doesn't look like an option. So. Let's start wrenching. 
and and take us off. Now I just need to find out where green and red go down there. Should be pretty simple, I think. I don't know, I've never done this before. I do see the blue one going into where it needs to go. So I'm gonna guess one, one here, one here. I'm gonna look it up real quick, but I think that's it. Okay, so got the intake off. Uh, got this fuel line connected to the fuel rail and then there's this one relaying it back down um, My only question is where does this one go? I've seen diagrams online because I was just looking where it uh, just caps this one off But I don't feel like that's right because then why would they even have it? Um, I know the wiring's a mess down here and whatnot, but like I can't figure it out Like it doesn't connect to either of these because they're too short and not thick enough um like Nowhere on here that would make sense for it to connect anywhere. So I am just bamboozled at the moment. I'm not sure where it would go.